Hi, I'm Warren Nash and here's my review of the Natatmo thermostat. In the box you'll get the thermostat itself, all the wiring, the wall mounting bracket, a freestanding thermostat stand, the relay and the instruction manuals. Now my boiler's not new by any means so I was worried it wouldn't be compatible. However, there is a checker on the Natatmo website and it was. Now to start with, I did find the installation instructions a little confusing and conflicting. The reason being, my boiler has an LS and LR connection for the thermostat and the instructions don't explicitly say which of the grey or the black wires you put into the LS and LR connections. So I watched the Natatmo installation video on YouTube and they clearly put the black wire into the LR connection and the grey wire into the LS connection, which is actually the wrong way round. So I spent a good while trying to get the thermostat to work with the boiler before realising I had to swap the coloured cables round. However, once I'd figured it out, installation of the relay was actually really easy. To check it's working with the boiler, all you have to do is power it on and then push the button on the bottom of the relay. Then the boiler should power up. If you push the button again and the boiler turns off, you know the relay's working with the boiler. Next, I had to connect the thermostat to the relay, and luckily all I had to do here was put the batteries in and it automatically connected on its own. The thermostat does have a really nice contemporary design and it can be either wall mounted or put on its freestanding mount. One downside of the thermostat display that I found is that there's no symbol on there to indicate whether the boiler's actually on, for example a flame symbol, which is common on most thermostats. So the next step was to set the Natatmo up with the Wi-Fi, so I chose to do this using Bluetooth on my phone, but unfortunately the relay repeatedly failed to connect to my phone. It still didn't work after a good few attempts, so I then had to resort to using the USB cable which came with the thermostat and then connect it to my computer. It is a shame because it did take longer for me to set the relay up to the Wi-Fi because I had to download the software as well, but luckily it did eventually work and I managed to connect the relay to the Wi-Fi using the downloaded software. So, now everything's set up, it means the heating can be controlled by the app, on the internet or by the thermostat itself. Now, the interface online is actually really informative. For the day, it will show you the actual temperature in the house at that point, the set point temperatures during the day, and the percentage of each hour that the boiler is on. Now, after about a week and a half of using the thermostat, the app did tell me that it made some learnings about how best to heat my house. So I told it to activate these learnings. One thing to be wary of when doing this, for example, if I had a set point for 17 degrees at 8 o'clock in the morning, the boiler will now come on at about half five to start heating the house up. Now I never felt I had to do this before, so in the first few weeks it's definitely a good idea to keep an eye online at the set points, the time your boiler's coming on and for how long. Furthermore, you can manually set the thermostat on the website or by using the app, using the manual controls, and you can also check the Wi-Fi signal to the relay as well as the battery level of the thermostat online. Lastly, it's really easy to set the set point temperatures and times either online or using the app. And as I said, just be sure to account for the fact that the heating system may turn on earlier to reach that temperature set point on time. So to conclude, I would say the Natatmo is one of the more reasonably priced smart thermostats on the market. Unfortunately, there were some teething issues during installation because of some unclear instructions as well as the fact that the Natatmo wouldn't connect to my phone with Bluetooth. However, I do feel the interface online and on the app is really easy to use and gives you loads of information to really help you control your weekly heating cycle. And whilst the system is always learning how to best heat your house, it's always worth just keeping an eye on it and tweaking those settings if need be to make sure you're not actually using more energy than you were before. And the great thing, like all smart thermostats out there, is you can control your heating wherever you are, whether that's on the phone or on the internet.